Well, hello there, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Valheim. So in today's episode, we're gonna take a stab at locating the trailer. I got a few places I want to check out. Uh, like right across from here is a island which we can check out, and I think turn on my hut here. Over here, right across this uh, boss arena, I think I saw an island over here as well. Yeah, you can kind of see like a uh, little bits here. So we're gonna check out over there as well. And after that, we'll probably do some more work on the base, or we can set up a poten potentially an outpost over there. I think that could be fun too. And let me show you guys what I've been working on in between episodes. So I got this little area figured out. I just made a bunch of these barrier bushes and blended all my mushrooms and thistles over here. I might end up changing these because I do think mushrooms should be grown indoors. So maybe we can come up with a building for that. Maybe something like this. So all this type of building in the uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And I thought it could be fitting in here, but I'm not 100% sure about this building yet though. I mean it looks good, but at the same time it looks kind of ugly. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have to think about that. And here we got a little storage uh, shed. You know, we got a bunch of storage over here, which is mostly empty. Well, they are empty currently. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the crops are growing pretty well. I'm really happy with that. I almost don't want to harvest them, but I probably will. Because <laughs> I do need food. Uh, speaking of food, I upgraded my little diet here. So we're running sausages with turnip stew. And we're keeping the boar jerky for now. Because I think it's nice and balanced. I wish there were more jerkies. I know there's a mod that adds a bunch of food. May, uh, one of them is, what do you call it? Uh, deer jerky. Now, for some reason I thought that was in the vanilla game, but I guess not. Well yeah, I'm gonna avoid doing uh, any kind of food mods and building mods for now. Maybe later on we can mess around with those. Uh, let's see here. So I've been preparing for a journey here. So I got a boat set up and a cart, which contains enough resources to make a fort with an uh, addition. Because I do need an upgraded fort wherever I go. Because you cannot uh, upgrade iron tools and iron weapons with, with regular forges, unfortunately. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I'm missing is enough resources for a cartography table. But do I need one? Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> Let's see, so what do we need for a cartography table? I just need four raspberries. I can get that. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. And since I got a craft from storage mod, I can easily just do this. Place one over here and destroy it. And that will give me all the resources. <laughs> Amazing. I love doing that. It makes it save so much time. But yeah, I think we shouldn't waste any more time and head on over to our next location here. Uh, also, there's a quiver now on my back. I'm not sure when that happened or if it was always a thing. Maybe I'm just noticing it now, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's very strange, but also really cool. Uh, oh yeah, I've also been working on this little area over here, where the docks is gonna be. And in this general area is gonna be like a marketplace, and maybe a couple houses as well. And I do also want to extend a little bit more on the farming district, but I'm not sure how I want to do that. Because I got plenty of space in the back over there too, but also over here. But I don't know yet, it's... Uh, Gonna take me a minute to figure that out. Oh well, yeah, let's uh, sail across here and uh, let's go see what happens. I'll just grab everything here and destroy this. There we go. It's gonna make me a combat, but that's okay. We can just dump everything in here. There we go. I love having storage in the boats. It's so good. Yeah, luckily we don't have to go far. Just gonna sail across over here. Let's see, so we do have a choice if we want to go left or right. Um, it does look like there's a black forest over there. We probably should go there, but I want to go left instead. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea, because who knows, maybe the trade is right over there. Uh, that actually makes me want to consider going there. Uh, no, let's just stick to the original plan. I'm going to go over here. And we got the wind with us, so yeah, all the more reason to go over here. <laughs> Ooh, is that an oak tree over there? 
I need to cut that down. I've been trying to get an oak seed because I got a great tip last episode about uh, doing something for the center of our town. And it's going to involve an oak tree, but I'm having a hard time getting some, uh, what do you call it, acorns? They don't seem to give me those. Oh, I love having uh, wind with us. It doesn't happen very often, unfortunately. <laughs> Ooh, is that a boar spawner? It is. Very nice. Oh, looks like we do have some black forest over here. That is good. The only thing that sucks is we're not going to be able to see the trader unless it's right on the beach. But otherwise we won't be able to see it until we update our map using the cartography table. Which is the reason why I need to set up an outpost here somewhere. But we're going to do that after we explore for a while. So it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to make a outpost pretty much right across the base. <laughs> Gotta keep a good eye out. Luckily we are able to spot the trader from quite far away because you do see the generated shield it has from quite a distance. Is that a mountain over there? Kinda looks like it. Maybe it's just shadows. I don't know. If it is though, that's freaking Mount Everest. Holy crap. <laughs> I almost want to go check it out. Um, Should I? Yeah, I'm... I'm my curiosity is getting the best of me. Just gotta know we gotta go straight back once we're done there. Yeah, look at that. That might actually be a mountain. I don't think I've ever seen a mountain that tall. Oh. <laughs> the camera's glitching underneath the water. Wow. That actually is a mountain. Holy crap. Can you imagine building a castle right on top of that? Almost makes me want to do that, but <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, it's a tall freaking mountain, man. I wish my view distance was higher. I'll be able to see the glorious mountain. Right, so there is a black forest over here, so maybe we should go check over here first. Yeah, I'm going to go take a look around here and uh, I'll bring you guys back once I found something interesting. Hopefully that will be the trader, but <laughs> I guess we'll have to see. Alright, a little update on how uh, we're doing. So I took a little bit of a risk and sailed across from the mountain island. And I can still see it, luckily, because it's so freaking huge. <laughs> but yeah, I spotted another black forest over here, so decided to uh, sail up against here and uh, see if we can spot anything. I mean, luckily I don't really necessarily have to spot the trader physically. I just had to sail across all the black forest that I see and then uh, once we update the map oh hello look at what we have over here oh where'd he go then I not just saw a turtle over here oh there he is <laughs> he popped right back, right back in I've been hoping to find one and here you are that is amazing it's crazy how I didn't spot it earlier because I already went all the way over there until I came across a swamp and then I decided to turn back well, yeah, I guess I have my eyes on the coast and not the ocean, so that kind of explains. But yeah, this is awesome, because I do really need some chitin or chitin, whatever you want to call it. Oh wow, there's a second one. Hello. <laughs> uh, I just need one, though. Yes. It's the ladder on the side. There we go. Alright. Let's go get us some chitin, chitin. I call it chitin, personally, to be honest. Um, I could potentially use vein mining and that will gather it all. Uh, no, that's kind of cheaty to be honest. Let's just gather what we can. We don't need that much to be honest, so... Just gonna grab it. I know you're so angry. Let's uh, activate our act to your power here. There we go. Whatever we're gonna get from this guy should be enough. Oh, singing. Let me get one more. Uh, come on, one more. <laughs> so greedy. Oh, there we go. Let's get on board. Thank you for your barnacles. Appreciate you, buddy. Oh yeah, there should be more than enough for the harpoon. All right, amazing. 
Should I get that guy too? Um, no, if we do need it, I know where to find it. I mean, <laughs> it's close to the giant mountain island, so that's good. There's quite a bit of uh, meadows by him over there too on that island. So definitely gonna have to explore that more. But for now we're gonna see what's on this coast. We're gonna try to follow it as much as possible until we come across another biome. And then I'll probably head back towards there and probably set up an outpost on that island to be honest. Because once we get uh, to the mountain, uh, what do you want to call it? Once we're able to climb the mountain with, uh, with the frost uh, thingy. After we defeat the bone mass, there we go, that's probably better. <laughs> We can uh, sail to this outpost and explore that mountain, because I'm really curious about that. Looks so cool. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back here shortly again once uh, I'm done exploring over here. Okay, that didn't take too long. <laughs> Looks like we got another swamp over here. Which is actually good. Uh, let me just go a little bit closer to it. Yeah, we can still see the island over there, so yeah, we're not that far. <laughs> it's gonna be a cool place to set up an outpost too. Yeah, we'll get our ass constantly by the swamp uh, creatures. I'm looking forward to setting up my uh, base, my swamp base pretty soon here as well. But I want to do that over at Bone Mass of course. I don't see any point in setting up a base inside a swamp that doesn't contain the boss, so... There's that. Alright, that should be enough. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> my boat isn't doing so well either. I need to be careful where I'm uh, going. Oh, already got a lead to an hotel. And it's getting foggy. Which is always lovely. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'll go uh, look for a little base location. I'll see you guys here shortly. Alright, so I'm back for another update. I found a little spot on the coast here. It's uh, just a tiny bit of meadows. And I thought it would be a good spot for a small little outpost just to, so I can access the cartography table. I'm, uh, right now I'm gathering up the resources for it. I mean technically I don't have to, I can just place the cartography table anywhere and just update the map. But it's a little rule I made for myself that I must have a building of some sort, of some sort in order to access it. Because I think that uh, is more immersive for me at least. And it makes a little bit more sense in my head. <laughs> so yeah, right now we're gonna work on that. So uh, I'll bring you guys back once I get started on that. Ooh, got some uh, carrots over here. Could make a cute little garden next to it. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Always lovely. All right, after these trees, I should probably have enough for the outpost. So I'll bring you guys back once I uh, get that going.
we're back again. So I decided to go with a little bit of a uh, building time lapse just to uh, make this building. I think it turned out pretty nice. I went back to kind of an older style that I used to do a lot in this kind of tent uh, looking style. But I incorporated some of my new building styles in it as well. Just to kind of mix and match and see how it did and uh, I like it. <laughs> It's not very spacious to be honest, but it definitely does the job and I'm not dying of the smoke, so that's always a bonus. So I think it's time we can finally label this building. Oh yeah, gotta do one more thing. There we go. I wish I brought the stuff for a maple. Oh, I do almost have it. I could go into the black forest and look for some. Eh, I don't really need that to be honest. Uh. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, we're gonna label this house. Put the sign. There we go. And call it base. Add a location. So yeah, it doesn't show up yet. I think we're around here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. So we should go ahead and update the map. And uh, hopefully we have come across a trader. If not, we're gonna have to look a little bit more. But super excited. Go ahead and click. Remembering travels. There we go. Come on, map is ready. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh wow, hey, look at that. <laughs> we actually did find a trader right next to us. Nice. So as you can see, I went all the way over here and then turned around. Yeah, so it's been quite an adventure. I like it. So holy crap, we're actually so close to the trader. Um, oh boy, I don't even know. Should I? I guess we could try a walk to there. Yeah, it should be walking distance. Alright, let's see if we can find it. Still got my rest of the bonus. And looks like I'm not able to repair my weapons, unfortunately, so I gotta keep that in mind. Oh, probably should dump off all my stuff here. <laughs> Ooh, that's so exciting. Then we can head back to base and grab all the goodies, and then finally we can get the belt. Oh, I can't wait to have it. I want it so bad. There we go. Out of my way. I'm on a mission. So if I look at this correctly, I should be able to follow the ghost. I'm surprised I haven't seen it actually. That's very interesting. It's got to be pretty hidden then if I haven't spotted it. Yeah, it should be right around here somewhere then. Oh, probably up the hill. That's probably why I haven't seen it. Uh, hey buddy. Have you seen the trader anywhere? No? Alright. Just get rid of you. There we go. Actually, we can loot this little building here. And get all the goodies from there. Might actually be able to get enough to buy the belt. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna destroy this. Only got 44 coins. Okay, that's not a whole lot. Let's see what's in here. You have a friend still in here? Oh, you do. Of course. Oh, it's a one star. Can I bury you? Ooh. A little iffy, but I can do it. It's gonna dart you, to be honest. I feel like that's a little bit more better. Ooh, this guy's so feisty. go just a few more hits oh crap i went out of stamina there we go <laughs> Ooh, got a little nervous there for a second there we go uh give me some goodies i know there's goodies over here uh yes thank you very much more goodies all right this should get us pretty close and there's also a couple structures over there which usually have a bunch of goodies as well. Uh, let's go try to find Trader first. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, no wonder I didn't see it. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hi there. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Now we have to go in for the fancy stuff. That's my sister's area expertise. Okay. What do you need? I want the belt. How much is it? 950. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, definitely not gonna have enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm nowhere near it. <laughs> Even with looting these buildings, I'm probably not gonna have enough. Ah, so glad to see you. 
Hey buddy. Oh, loves you a lot. <laughs> I like that. Uh, that's amazing. Wait, that's not my cheer. Where's my cheer button? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Bye. I'll be back soon for more goodies. All right, so I was gonna make a building near the trader, but I might not have to. Yeah, this is close enough to my little outpost over here that I probably don't see the need to build uh, any more over here. Or should I? Hmm. I am tempted to though. Over here, this is a beautiful spot too. Ah, I'm torn. So torn. I mean, over here. Look at this. So nice. Hey, excuse me. Ow. Get out of here. Throw rocks at me. How rude. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make this the official trader outpost. I like that better. Yeah, we'll keep this and uh, maybe we'll expand upon this because it is quite a nice area. I do like it. I have to make a little road over to the trader too. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna head back to base real quick and grab all the goodies and uh, I'll bring you guys back once I got that. So, I'll be right back. And here we are. So, pretty much brought all my treasure with me. And this should definitely be enough. I mean, with the coins alone, I got enough for the belt, so that's awesome. <laughs> hey, buddy. I would like the belt, please. There we go. Thank you very much. What else should I get? Uh, probably should get at least one piece of Thunderstone and Ymir Flash. Just to get the unlock goodies from that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Ymir Flash. And Thunderstone. Hey, get the Obliterator. It's awesome. I never really messed around with that thing to be honest, but I probably should this time around. Even though I do have a mod that allows me to delete stuff. I think it's still cooler to have Thor smite uh, <laughs> all the stuff that I don't want. I guess we might as well grab the fishing rod and uh, a bunch of bait. Yeah, let's just uh, use all of it. I tried fishing uh, like back when it first came out and I didn't really enjoy it, but maybe this time. Oh god. I bought way too much. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that's okay. I guess we're gonna need it. Hopefully. <laughs> that was a big mistake. That's okay. Alright, yeah. What else should we do today? Don't die out there. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> it's so funny when I came over here, he actually uh, greeted me the way I uh, usually greet you guys with the, uh, well, hello there. <laughs> I uh, thought it was pretty funny. I like seeing that. It just cracks me up all the time. Uh, man, it's been such a good day already. I think we should definitely uh, close off with uh, some, more, some more work on the base, probably. Unless there's something else we want to do. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. But I got another journey back uh, going back home. So I'll meet you guys back again here shortly. Alrighty. So finally made it back to base and uh, got everything sorted out. It's been such an amazing day, but unfortunately uh, I did kind of run out of time. Well, technically I do have some time left to do some stuff, but I don't want to risk going over 30 minutes. I just wanna, wanted to keep this episode a little bit shorter. But yeah, I'm just so, so glad we finally found the trader and we got all the goodies, mainly the belt. <laughs> I really needed that. It's crazy how it just this little carry away makes, makes such a huge difference, but it actually does, so that is awesome. So yeah, next episode we're probably gonna do some more work at the base. Uh, once I got the docks finally figured out, I think uh, once we've done this little area, we're probably gonna move on to the swamp and uh, get that, get some building over there. And then after that, we'll probably do bone mass. So I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, I am gonna call this video here today, guys. So if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and comment if you want. And also if you're new here and you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.